Hey guys, Tim here, timscomputerfix.net. In this video, uh, I have a Surface Book 2 15 inch here that has uh, booting up issues. And uh, I think the customer said that uh, she was running out of disk space. She was getting disk space warnings and she deleted some stuff and then did an update. And anyways, um, I'll show you here where she's stuck at. So we'll power this on and it'll act like it's going to boot. Then it goes to load. And this here is about as far as it gets. So there's no response. Uh, the keyboard backlight does come on a little bit. But that's about it. So that's, it's kind of hung there. So what we're going to do is try to free this up. So the first thing we're going to try to do is to boot into a uh, recovery mode. For these Surface Book 2, there's a certain way you do this, and this may work with your other Surface computers. You'd have to look at Microsoft's documentation, but uh, you could just try this method and see if it works first. So there's no way to shut it down. There's Control-Alt-Delete does nothing. There's absolutely no kind of response whatsoever. So we're going to hold down the power button, which is up top here. Hold it down for 10 seconds or more. Hold it down, hold it down. And now it powers off. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, if you notice up top here, you have your volume up and down and your power button. So to try to see if there is a recovery mode available here, we are going to hold down the volume down and then power on the surface and keep holding down the power, the uh, volume down button. And just keep holding it, keep holding it, to keep holding it. Okay, now we have a please wait. That's what we want to see. You can let go once you see that. We are now entering into a recovery mode. Okay, then you should come to a page that looks like this. So you got restart my PC, which is what we don't want to do. We want to see the advanced options. And then we want to go to troubleshoot. So right here, this is another way that you can recover your surface. And we'll see if this recovery works here first before we go to that. Then you have reset this PC and advanced options. If you go to advanced options, let's try startup repair first. Enter the password for its account. Okay, so I have that. Continue. So let's try to see if the startup repair works. This says startup repair couldn't repair your PC, but we've seen that before. So let's go ahead and shut the computer down. And now let's go ahead and power it back up. All right. 
and we still do not have any response on this screen. So let's boot into the recovery partition again. Okay, we'll go to advanced options. We'll go to troubleshoot. Let's go to advanced options. And let's see if there's a system restore point here we can find. System restore, we'll try that next. So here, you get, on Surface, on Surface computers, you get this option in System Restore. Okay, so basically if you do get to this screen, all this is is a BitLocker. Uh, BitLocker has been activated on this machine, and you would have to go to, there's different ways of finding your BitLocker key. Um, you, you can go to that link, and it basically tells you maybe go to your Microsoft account, or a printout or something, you have to have your BitLocker key that's given to you when you set BitLocker up. Okay, in this case, uh, BitLocker is not activated on this computer, so it's not letting you type anything, and the continue button is grayed out. So in this particular case, BitLocker is not activated. We just go to skip this drive. And this says no restore points have been created. So now we have a problem here with this. Now we know that startup repair is not working. And we know that system restore has no, has no restore points. The operating system has been corrupt, obviously. So that eliminates that. We just close that out. Nothing we can do about that. Let's go to troubleshoot. And so let's try to reset this PC. It'll be the next thing we want to try. We'll say keep my files. And let's see where we go here. And that looks like it got corrupt and just went right back to this screen. So we're having issues here for sure. Troubleshoot. Reset this PC. Remove my files. And it goes back to here. So there's definitely issues with this for sure. Continue to Windows 10. Let's try that. Okay, real quick, so what you want to do, you want to go to support.microsoft.com and search in their search box, search for surface recovery image, and that will bring you to this page. Okay, so what we want to do now is you want to either sign into your Microsoft account to get the proper files that you need for your recovery, or in this case, we're just going to select what product that we're using. In our case, it's a Surface Book 2, and then our serial number. Which you have the serial number typed in, you just hit continue. This is going to give you a few different options here of what to download. I'm going to pick the, uh, the latest one they have, 1809. And this is what service book that I have here. So we're just going to download this recovery image. Okay, that's, that's going to be a fairly large file. So that's going to be almost 8 gigs. So we're going to let that just download and finish up there. Okay, now that we have that image downloaded properly, what we're going to do now is we're going to plug into our PC. This is a uh, 16 gig flash drive. You have to use a 16 gig or greater flash drive for this. We'll plug that in now. And then what we want to do is we want to go down to our search box down here. We want to type in recovery. We want to click 
Click right here, Create Recovery Drive. Okay, so what we want to do after we get that, you'll have a, a prompt that comes up that says Create a Recovery Drive. We want to clear this checkbox that says Backup System Files. We'll clear that. We'll hit Next. And then we want to choose here our our drive. It's our 16 gig flash drive, and we'll go ahead and hit next. And we just we always know that our flash drive data will be deleted before we're creating this, and we say OK, create. And then we let it create the drive. So, as we can see here, that recovery drive is ready. We'll click Finish. Okay, now what we want to do, we want to take a look at the image that we downloaded, that zip file. We want to just double click and go into there. So once we go into that zip folder, we'll just set that aside. We'll locate our flash drive that we just used to create our recovery partition, which is here. And then we want to just select everything that was in our image download. And we want to drag everything over to this flash drive. So we'll let that copy over. It's best if you use a USB 3.0 if possible to do this because it will take a while. Okay, you see here we're getting the uh, prompt box uh, saying if you want to replace files in the destination or skip. Uh, we want to select replace the files in the destination. So we'll let that carry on through and finish up. Okay, we'll take our flash drive, newly created flash drive there, we'll plug it into our Surface Book here. And then once again, we'll hold the volume down button and then we'll hit the power button, continuing to hold the volume down button. By the way, make sure that your Surface Book is plugged in, not running on battery. Okay, so what's going to happen here is that when you do that and you have a USB plugged in here, it is going to want to read it first, so it may take a little bit longer for this to boot. But uh, we have it booted. English, US. We want to go to Troubleshoot. Then we want to select Recover from a Drive. So we'll recover from a drive. Okay, and we want to skip this drive in this case. Okay, and we're going to select just remove my files. So let's select that. And then let's see how we do here getting this ready. It says that we're all ready to go. Make sure your PC is plugged in, which it is. All personal files and user accounts on this PC will be removed. Any apps, programs that didn't come with the PC will be removed. Windows will be reinstalled from the recovery drive connected to the PC. If you're partitioned your system drive, this will restore its default partitions. So let's hit recover. And now we are recovering this PC. It starts counting down. And let's see where this takes us. We should get a full recovery here.
looks like we're doing a final reboot here. We got a backlight on the keyboard. Okay, and from this point, we're going to just set up, set up like any other uh, Windows operating system. So we'll do English. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help you. And there you have it, everyone. It's just basic Windows setup from there. You just go through and fill in all your options. Hello, Kit Kat. And uh, you'll have the uh, computer ready to rock, this Surface ready to go. So, hey, glad you could join me on this video. I'm sure this customer is going to be happy I got this going for. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you head right down below here, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome. I have much more computer repair videos coming your way. There's also a bell you can click for to get notifications for my videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. And as usual, everyone, until next time, see you soon.